What's going on guys? It's your boy Uchi and today I'm here with a little mini series that I'm going to do for y'all to discuss and compare and contrast the Death Note Netflix film to the original Death Note anime and this is gonna be a multi-part series i didn't want to cram everything into one long video i figured doing this in parts would have been a lot better and more entertaining so the way i can break each thing that went wrong with this adaptation or should i say what they changed more or less not just you know some things that they did wrong because like i will say at the end and i will keep saying over and over this is an adaptation which means that they don't have to legitimately copy and paste things from the original to this without further ado I tried to dress the part. They like wearing collared Johns and Death Note. And I could not find my light shirt. First topic I wanted to discuss. Light. Light the character as a whole. What went wrong with Light and why was he the way he was, yeah, I think at least, in this movie? Also, quick disclaimer. I have watched the original Death Note anime a couple times over the, the span of its life. However, it's been a while since I have actually seen it. And including the original three movies if anyone wants to take references from that so that all being said if i do forget to mention anything feel free to let me know in the comments below after you watch the video so how do i remember light in the original death note he was one of those kids that just knew it all he was a know-it-all but he kept it to himself he was at the top of his class he was low-key popular at the same time because he was pretty much good at everything he did he did really well in school he got straight a's he got like the highest scores on all his placements exams and he was bored he was bored of his life and then what happens the death note falls from the sky and he notices it while he is looking out into the window while his class was going on. That's literally how Death Note starts. The thing that they changed about Light in the American adaptation for Netflix is that he didn't really seem like he was all that smart or popular, if that. He actually seemed like he was one of those loser characters, if you will. He didn't have that many friends, or at least you didn't see that he did. Not to say that Light had any, but I'm just saying, this dude, all he had to do was call up any random girl and take them out on any given day and he had a date. Another thing that they changed, Light is a very calm, cool, collected kind of guy. Even in a heat of a moment, even if he loses himself, he would actually regain composure. And what I'm trying to reference is the scene where he meets Ryuk for the first time. In the anime, he was obviously, he got scared. Man, if I saw a Shinigami in the corner, my See? I would freak out too. But my man Light in the anime, he literally kept his cool right after he had his little jump start and he was like, I knew you'd come. But my man Light in the Netflix version, he was scared shitless. A lack of a better word, I'm sorry, but this dude was totally scared. He was like screaming like a little I was like, oh, okay. Like this, they totally changed his character completely. That ultimately changes the flow of how the movie is gonna go. And even though this isn't about Light directly, I feel plays a role in the entirety of his character in the movie. His mom was already dead. So in the anime, his mom and his dad are both there for most of the series. He also has a sister. Even though she didn't play too much of a heavy role, she was not present in the Netflix adaptation. So that's just a little some some else that I freaking noticed about Light and his character. And overall, I mean, I can see why people would not like Light in the Netflix adaptation because he was totally different, totally different attitude. And one thing I also wanna close this out with is I wanna take note on a scene that, they that took place between Light and L. During these scenes in the anime, it was like the tension was so high because there was also a portion of the anime where light didn't know that this was l until he revealed himself as l because he was trying to bait out that yo i think you're kira as soon as we have one of the first interactions with light and l in the netflix adaptation he literally basically told him he's like yeah okay and what so what if i am there was no like struggle between finding out the actual truth i mean maybe you can argue that because it was a movie they had to make stretched out segments into more condensed and get kind of get on with it pacing wise but i don't know i felt like they could have done that a little bit better they probably could have been an extra scene or two to have that mystery and then lead into like oh, okay like he's definitely kira no he's definitely l 
So hope you guys enjoyed this. And like I said, if I missed out on anything, let me know in the comments below. What changes did you not like about Light as a character comparing him to his animated version? And make sure to tune in next time so we talk about what they went wrong with Misa or Mia. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And make sure to talk to me about this in the Discord, especially on the Discord. And follow me on Twitch to make sure you are talking to me about this while I play some games. And if you support Nucci Games, then please support me on Patreon. And I'll see y'all next time.